Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy Saturday. Thanks for hanging out with us. We got 2020 Panini Contenders football coming at you. Pick your team at number nine. Number nine, number nine, number nine. There it is, number nine. There you go. If you have a rooftop next to your name, that means you won those spots in that team random we did. It's in a separate video. Karen, last spot mojo, Patriots. And here is a fresh case of contenders football. So it's a half case break. Second half is in the store right now, folks. Just too many hits here, just packed full of hits. Five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. One, two, three for the left side, four, five, six for the right side. And it's four. One, two, three, four, five, six. This side we will save for next time. So these these next ones will be for pick your team ten. Those are a chicken scratch there. It's a bit it's ten. That's right, Yanti. Five autos per box on average. Yeah, contenders football traditionally has five per uh, per box. No, no veteran comments ship, but obviously all the all the inserts do, and the autos, of course, and any numbered cards. There can be some points in here, which will collect them as one lot and randomize them uh, as one lot to one person in the break. Why can't NBA contenders be like this? Because NBA has far fewer players in the league. Remember, NBA rosters are only 15, like a roster. And NFL has like 52, 53 people on a team. So more opportunities for more autographs. So that's why you'll, you'll see like kicker autographs in here, offensive lineman autographs in here. But punctuated by like some of the bigger rookie names is obviously what you're looking for. Contenders is a pretty popular set. And they've got some Hall of Fame coach autographs in here too, and some Hall of Famer, uh, Hall of Fame pe player autographs, active player autographs, retired player autographs. Those are fewer and far between, but they are there. I think in one break last night we pulled a. Out of five, like Jerry Rice autograph. Hold like a Tannehill cracked ice autograph for someone. So, so those names are out there. Fewer and far between. It's mostly about the rookies and contenders. But they exist. And there's championship ticket. Nick Bosa, 41 out of 99. That'll be for Matt Johnson and the Niners. We're looking for this guy's on. Here's our Contenders football bingo card right here. 
We finally got two of today. We're looking for Justin Herbert and Joe Burrow autographs. And we've got Dalton Keene. And did you, if you notice that bounty on there, if we if we pull a Herbert and a Joe Burrow out of this out of these six boxes, I'll randomize uh, twenty five dollars to to someone in this group. We'll randomize the names. Name on top. We'll get twenty five bucks. Second name will get any points, if any. Right, that was for you, Travis, the Tannehill Cracked Ice. Yeah, so they're in there. Stuff's in here. Got stuff in here. All right, Justin Herbert going to Sean Maddock, who got the Chargers straight up. Maybe we can find that somewhere. We've got rookie ticket autograph. Uh, that's Kari Willis. For the blue horseshoes, going to Mark and the Colts. We got Stephen Sims Jr. rookie ticket autograph. That's for Mark and the Washington football team. And a ticket sub autograph coming up. I think these are really cool. There it is. Derek Brown. 27 out of his jersey number. 27 out of 95. Ticket sub autograph for Carolina. Patrick Garcia on the board. With a team he won in that team random that we did. Did I upload that video? I'm pretty sure I did, right? Yeah, it's uploaded already. So if you want to see the results of that. We've got another ticket sub autograph, this time on card, one out of 30. Usually one on card autograph a box. These ticket sub autographs are pretty fun. That goes to Nathaniel Smith and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. We'll do a recap at the end. Another box, you can see the stack of boxes up on the top camera there. They're not going anywhere. Good luck. Um, to fill my mild curiosity, let me know, uh, I don't know when this is actually gonna happen, but let me know when, uh, who wins that Connor McDavid fight. Connor McDavid? Connor McGregor fight. Connor McDavid's a hockey player. The McGregor fight. Anyone have any thoughts on uh, the games tomorrow? What are we? We've got a whole, we had a whole week to think about it. Who, who's winning it? Who's going to the Super Bowl tomorrow? I'm on Green Bay minus three. And I'm on the Bills plus three. Yen says Chiefs and Packers. State Farm Bowl. Travis is with me. Packers and Bills. Yeah, I think the I I think the Bills plus I think the Bills outright. I think they'll win outright. That's what I'm hoping. Out of 199, Russell Wilson.
and we've got, speaking of the Chiefs, there's Damian Williams. Wait, what's... Damian Wilson, is he not... I think he's injured right now, right? And the Chiefs are counting on Daryl Williams? No, Damian Williams opted out of the 2020 season. That's what he did. That's right. So he chose to, he elected to opt out of the season, paving the way for the other D Williams, Daryl Williams. That goes to Keith and the Chiefs, by the way. So I think. We'll see how D Williams does tomorrow, the other D Williams. There's Jared Pinckney for the Falcons. That's going to go to John and the Dirty Birds. By the way, we're going to do a left-right randomizer on these round numbers cards. Unless they're serial numbered, then we'll do, we'll do a separate randomizer for the serial numbered ones. And there's Rodrigo Blankenship. The kicker for the Blue Horseshoes, Mark. I heard some people saying Big Ben going to retire this year in this offseason. A nice uh, Jeff Okuda autograph one no seven out of 22 cracked ice auto going to kevin smith and the lions picked up the Lions straight up there's lavisca chenault jr playoff ticket autograph playoffs playoffs 25 out of 49. Jaguars. That'll be for Mark. Right. Next box. Do I think the Lions will be able to trade Stafford? I think they should. I don't. I don't think. I don't think whether they can trade him or not. I don't think that's the. I don't think that's the issue. Can they get? Can they get good value for out of Matthew Stafford? They've already agreed to part ways. So now it's just a matter of trying to find a good home for Matthew Stafford. How much? I I don't know. I don't know what kind of agreement they came up with. Did Stafford say, trade me anywhere? Or did he say, hey, can you trade me to a contender? I don't know what the deal is. Will that team want to give up the assets they, the Lions are asking for? Don't know. But they're going to trade. I mean, they've already... They've already Said they're going to part ways, so that's already out there. Yeah, it'll be weird to see. Yeah, it's, it'll, it'll, it will be interesting to see where he goes. Um, it'll be weird to see him not in a Lions uniform. So used to seeing him in a Lions uniform. But I think he's picked a good time. There, there's there's teams that need quarterbacks. You know, if Drew Brees does officially retire, there's uh, Richard Lawrence, rookie ticket autograph for Keith. If uh, if Drew Brees really retires, 
which I think he will. If people are suggesting that Big Ben's going to retire. I mean, Phil Rivers is already retired, so that's that's already three three teams that are in need of uh, are in need of quarterbacks. There is playoff ticket Bryce Perkins, eighty nine out of ninety nine, and I'm sure there are teams that are privately not happy with their quarterbacks. Maybe like this team, the Rams, Nicholas Kasberg. So I don't know. Maybe there'll be some crazy team there. There's points, so we'll randomize this to one person in the break. Winner take all on the points. Yeah, and you're saying Matt Ryan will also be with a new team? You think that you think Falcons are going to trade him? Patriots could use a quarterback. There's Chris Godwin. Nice Chris Godwin, 57 out of 99. Some people suggesting he might be good for your DraftKings lineups. Maybe Jaguars trade for Stafford? Maybe, but I think they'd have to give up that number one pick. I don't think they're going to do that. If they could get away with getting Stafford and not give up that pick, they could have Stafford for a few more years and a couple more years maybe. Trevor Lawrence can marinate behind Stafford for at least a year. There's Jake from State Farm. On-card autograph for the Bills. Buffalo! Alex Donnelly with the Bills. There's to 149, so that'll be a randomizer between these two teams. All right, that replaces the an auto, by the way. All right. Next box, Texans might. I saw Deshaun Watson back there. Texans. Might need a new quarterback. Thing is, Deshaun Watson, I think, has a no-trade clause. And I don't know if he's going to want to go to Detroit to rebuild there. So maybe that's not an option. So how many how many teams Saints Steelers Colts Patriots are already four teams that need quarterback. I guess the Lions will need a quarterback after they move Stafford. Maybe that's through the draft. So I feel like a lot more quarterback turnover than usual. And then who knows how many teams in the woodwork may come out. Niners? Someone said Niners, too. Niners could could, could say, eh, pass on Jimmy G. Nuggets are in overtime now. Nuggets are in OT? Who are they playing? Jamal Murray just said a buzz is going to be the Wow. Jamal Murray. Wait, what channel is that on? Because the Lakers are smoking the Bulls right now. Cameron Johnson's leading in points. Cameron Johnson. Dust off your Cam Johnsons. Oh, because Devin Booker is out. Ooh, step pump. There's Kyler Murray right here to 199. <laughs> 
For the Saints, Zach Vaughn, 58 out of 99. That'll be for Clay Franklin, who got the Saints in the team random. Rookie ticket autograph, Justin Matabuike. For Aaron and the Purple Birds. Oh, that's our second autograph, right? That we had the Zach Bond. That. And we've got for the Panthers championship ticket autograph, Jeremy Chin. 29 out of 49 for the Panthers. Patrick got Carolina in that team random. Rookie of the Year contenders, Tua Tungavailo. Oh, we got Drew Locke autograph. Sunday ticket auto. 18 out of 49. I saw a couple Denver fans uh, suggest that uh, maybe Matthew Stafford ends up in Denver. in place of Drew Locke. We'll see. Walter, what's up? Do all players in the rookie class sign the same amount of cards? No. Well, I don't know. <laughs> in a set like this, I think the top names probably signed fewer cards. There's Anthony McFarlane Jr. Otherwise, we'd probably see Herbert as much as Zach Bond. Yeah, but in like NT, yeah, because you see all the out of 99 RPAs, you know, stuff like that. They'll, they'll sign the same amount. But then in NT, you won't have Zach Bond. But yeah, the Contenders is like that. You know, you're going to have to sift through a lot of like kind of lower tier rookies. Or like kickers or like offensive linemen and stuff like that, autographs before, you know, before you get, before you're like, bam, oh my God, there's a Herbert, you know, something like that. So, but that's to be expected out of a contender from year to year. Got to find the diamonds in the rough. I don't know. It, it might differ from year to year and player to player, but some some of the top names probably uh, have completely different contracts too, in terms of signing and how much they're obligated to sign for what products. You know, while Zach Bond, sorry Zach Bond, if you're listening, uh, but <laughs> while Zach Bond may be on like some sort of basic standardized rookie contract, you got to do X amount of sets for X amount. You know, there's Stuff like that. I think the top names, though, probably have individual separate contracts. Maybe not Herbert. Burrow, maybe, just because of where he was picked. I know Zion probably has a separate contract, an exclusive contract with Panini, I think. So it's a wild world. that I don't think there's a lot of light shed on, on how all that works. And then after their rookie year, you know, It'll be unlikely you'll see Zach Bond in any sets after this year. <laughs> Again, apologies to Zach Bond. Watch, he blows up next year. He's like the most amazing at his position, whatever he plays. All right. Next box, we've got... 
Uh, we've got Shaquille Quarterman, 41 out of 99. That's for Mark and the Jags. Yeah, Mark 2643 were saying that, yeah, some are super short printed as well. There's Darius Anderson. More points right here, so we'll pile that on top of the other points card. Winner take all on the points. And we've got rookie ticket autograph, Tristan Wirfs. Some fans of contenders actually like contenders for all these random names because, you know, they want to try to collect all the rookies for their own team, you know? So even though, like, some of these lower tiered random rookies maybe not aren't going to be gangbusters on a secondary market, it's good for people who just want to fill out their collections. Ooh! Wow, nice. You don't see these too often. I think of all the breaks of this that I've done, I've only, this is only the second one I've seen. The clear auto, Antonio Gibson. 10 out of 10. That is awesome. Blank card right That's pretty nice. Mark Bissett with the Washington football team. Nice. Last box coming up. Yeah, Zach Bond's watching right now, right, Rex? He's going to prove me wrong. And when, people, when he's interviewed, be like, Zach, what, what was it that drove this performance this football season? in 2021 and he'll be like well this sob group breaker joe jaspi was talking about how my autographs would be worth nothing i'm a lower tier rookie and i took that personally <laughs> will be the michael jordan meme and i took that personal a linebacker right he's gonna have like he's gonna have the most sacks for a linebacker lead the league in tackles where i'd be like zach where did this where did this ferocity come from? This ferocious season? Where I was just extra motivated. I was extra motivated by what Joe Jaspi said in a group break on January 23rd, 2021. I was sitting at home, relaxing, you know, just trying to get my mind set for the next season. Right. He becomes a first ballot Hall of Famer. Right. And then in his Hall of Fame speech, Mark, he's like up there and going... I dedicate this to Joe Jaspi. 15 years ago, he was doing a 2020 Panini Contenders football break, picker team number nine. And he was saying about how I was a lower tier rookie, that I was no good, that that's probably why I signed a ton of cards. You won't see him in products after this anymore. And I took that personally. That's what's gonna happen, and then I'll be I'll I'll be the laughing stock of the group breaking world. They're like, Joe, you didn't think Zach Bond was gonna be any good, and I'm gonna be trying to be like, you go back to January 23rd, 2021. You tell me if you thought Zach Bond was gonna be any good, but by then it'll be too late because he'll be a Hall of Famer, and everyone will claim they knew it all along. And I'm the fool. That's that's how it happened. That's that's how it'll happen. Yeah, ZB will step into the chat next year. Be like, hey, remember me? All right, last five autographs, boys and girls. Hey, you know what? I hope Zach Bond turns into a Hall of Famer. We pulled enough of him. Saints will be happy. Clay Franklin will be happy. There's Jake Breland. Ravens. Aaron. This, this guy's auto has still been elusive. 
but this will still go to Cincinnati. That's going to go to Anthony. And we've got Albert Okuebanum, rookie ticket autograph for Denver. That'll be for Kevin Smith and my rivals, Denver. There's a redemption. Any guesses on that redemption? For bragging rights? There's Trayvon Diggs, Stefan's brother, going to Matt and the Dallas Cowboys. Yancey saying Jalen Hurts. I think his autos are live. Isaiah Simmons, definitely a redemption. Mark and Beasley are guessing. Travis saying Gladney or Simmons. Jamie D saying someone we've never heard of. Actually, there have been some random. It's not been the usual suspects, redemptions-wise. TBS saying Burrow. That'd be nice. There's Gabriel Davis. That's not too shabby. Alex Donnelly with the Bills. Gabriel Davis could raise his stock considerably with a good game this week. Tomorrow, in fact. It's already tomorrow? Kind of makes me sad. Football's almost going to be over. There's Sony Michelle to 199 for Karen and the Patriots. Riffles guessing uh, guessing AJ Dillon. Good luck. It's Tim Patrick. Jamie D83 gets it. Someone we've never heard of. He took the field. He was right. I've, this is the first Tim Patrick that I've pulled. He sounds like a Bronco. He is. He's a Denver Bronco. Played college football at Utah. That goes to my rivals, Denver. That's for Kevin Smith. There you go. Yeah, Broncos, Alex and Travis. You win, Jamie. You can brag to your friends now. Tell your friends. You can tell your friends, hey, I played Guess the Redemption with Jaspies, and I got it. And I'd be like, what'd you win? Bragging rights. So what are you doing? Bragging. All right, let's randomize these two points cards to somebody. It's like, what did you win today? Did you win any uh, Guess the Redemption? It's like, they're like, no. They're like, yeah, see? All right, so let's grab everyone's names from Keith down to Mark and the Washington football team. Put them all into this list right here. Name on top after after seven. Name on top after two and a five, seven times. Um, we'll get those two points cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. Jamie's saying, hey, he's actually pretty decent. Better better than Zach Vaughn. You're talking about future Hall of Famer Zach Vaughn. After seven times, name on top, two points cards. It's going to be Mark. There you go, Mark. A little consolation prize for you. A couple points cards right there. And here is the quick little recap. There's the Tim Patrick. Gabriel Davis is nice. And Antonio Gibson was really cool. I like that. I'm going to save that for picture time. Maybe snap a picture of that. Trayvon Diggs kind of had a rough start to his career, but I think people still like his ceiling. There's Drew Locke, Tim Patrick's teammate, Jake from State Farm. Some playoff tickets, some cracked ice, some kicking, some Damian Williams, not Daryl, Damian Williams. Damian opted out. Daryl is still in. We'll see him tomorrow. A couple numbered cards right there. And there, oh, there you go. I forgot to randomize these. 
Sorry, we'll use the same dice roll. Let me flip back to this list. So, Mark, you'll still get the points, obviously, after seven times. You thought I did the recap. Let's do the left-right randomizer here. Left-right. And then the serial-numbered card was... Uh, Yetter Gross Mottos, Carolina, and KJ Hamler, Denver. Once again, we'll keep the same dice roll. That's what we usually do. One, two, three, four, five, six... And seventh and final time. After seven left side cards, we'll get them. So all those left side teams will get those. This one is serial numbered, so we'll do that separately. Once again, seven times. Team on top will get it after seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. And seventh and final time. After seven stays with Denver. All right, so there you go. Denver, you'll get this. Kevin Smith. Thanks, everybody. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.